Hello and welcome to Next Tech Pitmaster. I'm Kelly Wirtz, Four Legs Up Barbecue in Great Bend, Kansas. We're here today talking pork for your holiday needs. Uh, actually, what we're going to do is show you how to uh, basically make how to make a cowboy ham. Uh, basically, a much cheaper version, or should I say, a much less expensive version of a uh, four or five dollar ham that you're going to go buy and use for uh, Thanksgiving or Christmas. We're going to uh, take a regular pork butt, uh, show you how to cure it, um, show you how to cook it, and then show you how to prepare it and get it ready to serve. Actually what we've got is a uh, just a regular uh, fresh pork butt that's non-injected, uh, non-enhanced, uh, if you're going to any of your local stores, uh, check, at the, check on the package. Um, if it says enhanced with a percent solution of a whole bunch of other stuff, uh, we really don't want those for what we're trying to do. We want a fresh one. Uh, if you can't find it locally, you may have to go to a, a Sam's Club or... Uh, larger store in a larger city, something like that, um, or go check with some of your local restaurants. They can usually get them. A lot of them usually have them on hand as well, too. But the nice thing about what we're going to do, we're going to take a pork butt that's going to cost you $1.50 a pound and actually make a ham out of it. We're going to do that with a product called Tender Quick. Now, all Tender Quick is is a home curing uh, product that will actually let you cure just like they do, like the big guys do uh, in the processing plants, like they do bacon, like they do ham, uh, anything else that's cured. It's just a chemical process that we're going to use a little bit of sodium nitrate, a little bit of sugar, some salt that's contained in here. Uh, we're going to inject that into that pork butt and make a ham just like they do, um, just like a regular ham that you'd go buy out of the store. Uh, but this one's only costing us a dollar, around a dollar and a half a pound, versus that ham you're going to buy is four and a half, maybe even five bucks a pound, especially buying them now. And I think it's a better product anyway, in my own opinion. Because with the pork butt, you've got all that extra fat in there, uh, you've got that collagen, it's the same pork butt that we use for smoking, uh, pulled, and for doing pulled pork. It's got all that extra moisture in it, uh, which your hams don't have. Uh, they tend to be a lot drier. Uh, they don't have all the collagen in it that this pork does. Um, I still think hams out of these pork butts or give you a lot better flavor, uh, a lot more moisture. So let's uh, get some uh, cure mixture mixed up. We'll inject that and show you what we're going to do with that. We're actually going to do a honey cure um, with just plain old honey and the tender quick. We're going to start with four ounces of honey, half a cup, right there. Now you probably want to, to help mix this, stick this in a microwave for 30 seconds, you know, 30 seconds at a time, get it nice and warm so it pours easy, and it'll help us when we go to mixing it. Then we're going to use one cup of the tender quick powder. Again, all of it, it's a little bit of sodium nitrates, sugar, it's the same stuff they use to cure with. And three and a half cups of water. We're just looking for about a quart container. There we go. Put your lid on it and start shaking. 
what you may want to do depending on how warm your water is it helps mix that up just a little bit if you can warm it up just a little so we're going to pop that in the microwave let that water get warmed up notice we're using uh, bottled water or bottom water depending on how good your water is at your house uh, you may want to buy some water and use if your water is really chlorinated if it's got some off flavors to it basically if you don't like drinking your water at home go get some bottled water um, that flavor if you've got chlorinated or some flavor in your water at the house will transfer over into your final product and you will get a little bit of that flavor there if you do go get some bottled water you know, it doesn't have to be the most expensive thing in the store you know the gallon jugs for what 98 cents I think we got this one it's just purified water something that's clean doesn't have a lot of any off flavors or anything to it got that warmed up just a little bit doesn't have to be really hot that'll help that honey dissolve just a little bit better in there that'll help that tender quick product dissolve a little bit better in there shake good then let it set now you probably should mix this up oh a day ahead of time or so because I do want this to be at uh, good and cold when we go to inject it so we're not injecting um, hot liquid into our meat itself raising that temperature up there we go we got that mixed up good and good we'll just pop that in the fridge let it get good and cold let's talk injectors a little bit you can if you read on the back of the tender quick bag it gives you directions on how to mix it uh, for a soaking solution and also gives you directions on how to mix it for uh, an injection which is what we've got here is one cup of tender quick product to four cups of water which is just what we did with a little bit of added honey in there that's the way to mix it for an injection I like doing the injections um, it takes up a lot less room it takes a lot less time um, a lot less mess and a lot less fuss with if you if you decide to soak it uh, you're going to need a bigger container you're going to need a lot more product to set it in there it's going to take three or four days to soak on a pork butt this size about an eight pounder um, you're probably going to take five or six days to get that soaked all the way through that meat what we're going to do this time though is inject it with our injectors that way we can do it basically overnight we're going to inject it let it set overnight 12 hours you can let it set up to a day if you need to and then go ahead and cook it injectors you can use whatever you want this one happens to be uh, one from the local grocery store in the kitchen gadget aisle it works fine if you don't have have another one I think I lost the needle for it I just keep this one around as a spare um, they work they're fine um, use anything like that or go to the um, your local farm and home supply store these are vet veterinary syringes with the veterinary needles on the end of them these work fine as well too you can get the big ones you can get the small ones you can get smaller ones than this you can get sizes anywhere in between 
The one I like to use is my actual meat injection syringe. Um, it's what I use for briskets, pork butts, turkeys, chickens, whatever else I'm, I'm doing. Um, it's got a 50 cc barrel on it. It's got a long needle on it so I can get everywhere I need to inside there uh, from a few locations instead of going around all over the place. So let's get our injection out of the fridge. We got a cold one sitting in there and we'll start injecting. You get that injection solution out of the fridge, shake it just a little bit, make sure you got all the uh, tender quick dissolved, all the honeys in solution, then you should be ready to go. Put, uh, I've already got my pork butt in a plastic bag. That's a good heavy plastic bag. That'll help catch any of the excess that runs out. We're just going to stick that in. Start uh, pumping injection into the pork butt. That's what they actually call this on the back of the uh, Tender Quick bag is a pump, just like they would do it commercially. We're just going in from one end of that pork butt. Uh, about every inch or so. And we're shooting to put about two cups of this injection solution, of that cure solution, in this pork butt. I'm getting over here to the bone side of that pork butt. You can use boneless butts on this if you if that's all you can find. Make sure you get around that bone real well. And then sometimes I'll come in, just slide in right along the top shoot a little more in that's about my two cups right there there we go We've got our two cups of basically honey cure uh, in our pork butt. Now we're going to pull that bag up. You see in our bag we've already got some of that uh, honey cure solution uh, setting out. If you didn't get much leaked out of it, I would pour just a little bit of your solution back in the bag, maybe a half a cup or so. Pull your bag up, squeeze as much air out of it as you can. Don't get too overzealous about that, not a big deal. Spin it around, tie her up. We're going to set it in the refrigerator just like that let it set for at least 12 hours if not 24 hours and let all the solution 
that honey cure solution that we injected in there, let that get all on equilibrium all around the meat, all around the bone, um, everywhere else. We're going to then uh, pull that out and uh, put it in the smoker uh, and smoke it just like we do a normal pork butt. Uh, 250, 275 degrees in about eight hours or so at that we're going to wrap it in foil. Uh, when that color gets about right the internal temp should be about 170 degrees. Go ahead and wrap it in foil. Put it back on the cooker. If you need to you can put it back in the oven um, at that point since you've already got it in foil. Um, and then we're going to run it up to about uh, 200, 203 degrees. Then we're going to pull it off, let it set, and then shred it just like you do a normal pork butt. Um, so with that, we'll stick this back in the fridge. All right, we now have our cowboy ham off of the cooker. Um, and we're basically have cooked it just like we do a regular pork butt. Um, and if you want to see that video, uh, that video is on Next Tech Pitmaster uh, TV and on YouTube as well. Uh, we foiled it just like we do in the pork butt video. We cooked it to the same temperature just like we did in the pork butt video. Uh, everything else is basically the same. But now we're doing a cowboy ham instead of just a straight pork butt. Um, get some gloves on here so we can start pulling that. And one of the things that uh, you can do with these uh, right before you actually pull them off of the grill um, when the pork butts get done there we go. When that cowboy ham gets done um, We'll actually take some ham sauce uh, that we have made up. If you want the recipe for that, uh, that's here on the video as well and on the Next Tech website. You can squirt some of that on there, brush that on, and glaze that uh, cowboy ham with some of this ham sauce. Oh, again, you guys missed out on the smell vision part. Glaze that up. Um, and again, let that pork butt set and rest uh, for a good hour. Um, that will help all the moisture in there redistribute so it's all nice and even. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to hand pull it again like a regular pork butt, but let it rest and let it start cooling down so we can get in there and pull it by hand. There's that bone, save it for your dogs, whatever, throw it away, that's up to you. Ah, can you smell it? See, we've got that nice red cured color, just like a ham, but we did it ourselves. Yes, and it's still getting hot yet. It's got moisture in it. We've got that good collagen in there. It's still got some moisture. Again, that's partly the reason I like these, is they're, you've got more moisture than a regular um, ham that you're going to get. You got some nice bark on it, a little crusty. We did not season this because it is a. We are going for more of a more of the ham, that cowboy ham. So I did not put any extra seasoning on it. Notice how nice that just falls apart. 
as we pull it. That's what we're looking for. This one actually uh, has been uh, sitting in the oven for about three hours, just on low temperature on the in the oven to keep it warm till we get time to pull it. If you're doing one of these for uh, Christmas, go ahead, cook it overnight, whatever time you are going to eat, plan back about three or four hours or so. Give yourself plenty of time to let that set before you need to eat. It doesn't hurt it to let it set. That way you're also not frustrated if something goes wrong, your cooker goes out overnight, whatever it is, you've still got plenty of room to work, plenty of time. It's a whole lot easier to pull this and get it ready to eat when you're not under pressure from everybody standing around waiting to eat and you're late. Just get them done early. Let them set. It's not going to hurt them. Pull that, get most of the fat back out of it. I'm going to kind of go back through this again and get some more of that fat off real quick. A little fat's a good thing, but a lot's not. Nice and moist, it pulls easy. These make uh, great sandwiches with a little cheese, some English muffin bread. Throw them on your, either on the skillet or if you got a uh, sandwich press at home, they work great for that. A little toasty bread, some ham, some cheese. Now we got that pretty well pulled. The juice now that you have in the bottom of the foil, since we wrapped it at about 170 degrees, there's going to be some juice down there in the bottom of that foil. You can either take that and make some gravy with it, or what I like to do, pour a little bit of it back over the top of that. It's gonna add just a little bit more flavor, a little more pork fat, which is a good thing. Helps flavor that up. We've also got a lot of good cure flavor in that juice. Stir that up. There we go. Just like that. Now you've got a uh, probably about five pounds of uh, cowboy ham in there, ready to serve. Um, no slicing, no dicing, just pull it and off you go. Well, thanks for watching our episode on how to do a cowboy ham at home. Uh, this is Kelly Wirtz, Four Legs Up Barbecue and Next Tech Petmaster. Master.